Even if you haven't revised much, a question like this, you can definitely get full marks on on paper too. It says, explain one reason why an electromagnet is used here instead of a permanent magnet. So we're picking up these pieces of metal and the idea is to separate iron and steel from non-magnetic metals. So an electromagnet can be used um, because it can be uh, easily switched on and off. Now, why is that important here? Well, if you're trying to separate these metals, you've got to pick some up, but then you've got to drop them off. So basically, we'd have to say something like, um, so uh, you can move the magnetic materials. So iron and steel are the ones in the question, um, and they can move the magnetic materials easily, be what we'd say here. Two other metals that would be attracted, so not iron and steel, we need to know there are four overall. I'm hoping you guys have revised these. This is nickel and cobalt will be the other two magnetic materials. If you wanted to change the way uh, the, the size of the force exerted by the electromagnet um, and not change the design of it, which is a really interesting one. So the idea is um, you can't change the design. That means you can't change the number of coils on it. And um, what we do is you increase the current in the coil. That should be an easy one uh, to remember. So increase the current in the coil, um, or we could basically bring the electromagnet closer. So if we bring the electromagnet closer, um, it's gonna feel a stronger magnetic field um, to the um, iron and steel. And there we go. Um, that's gonna be our marks for this question.